It's time for us to try yet another new dish. Hello everyone and welcome to Monday. What is the name of this? Oyakodon. And it translates to what? Parent and child dish. Rice dish. Like bowl. Because it's a rice bowl. Parent and child dish is is dark comedy. <laughs> it is dark comedy. It is dark and it is funny. It is it is chicken and egg. And uh, in rice, but there's also apparently uh, some onion. some onion that are they're going in this as well. What is in this sauce, Mal? Since you're the uh, one that got you're the mix up the sauce. Soy, mirin, dashi stock, sugar. That's about it. Okay, I'll put the recipe for this in the uh, in the description. I always love anything hearty. Uh, hearty for me always counts. Uh, towards uh, chicken and rice. Mm -hmm. um, and I just love the addition of egg, egg anytime we do something like this, so I'm Do you smell it though? Excited. It smells real good. Really, really, really good. So, I can't, can't wait to try this, even if the name is a little, a little twisted. I'm gonna be honest, for whatever reason, I thought that the egg was gonna be a Soft-boiled? Yeah, like a soft-boiled egg like we normally do. So it's like kind of confused. I was like, wait a minute, why is it like this? But it's it's like scrambled. A little scrambled. like egg drop soup. Yeah, okay. I think I cooked it with too much liquid, but we kind of got to figure out like the ratio for the pan size and stuff. Well, we have enough stuff that we're going to do this tomorrow, right? Uh -huh. Like that's the plan? Okay, let me try. I also have seasoning adjustments I would make if it were me for um, tomorrow. It's good though. Mm -hmm. The flavor's good. I'm probably gonna add some um, salt, some salt and pepper. But it's you know it tastes good. Mm -hmm. I like it. So that's. I'd probably that's reduce good. the sugar. Like if, mm. for tomorrow, just I, a little bit. Okay. Yeah. I mean. Sure. That's that's fine. I, I it is a little sweet, but mm -hmm. it's good. Um, so today, uh, we had, uh, we had a doctor's appointment. Well, we didn't, I guess. I, I was. <laughs> you in, did not. I, I was did. in the car. Mal had a, uh. Dermatology appointment. It's been a while. Yeah, before the pandemic started. Like, it's been. I had an appointment for summer of 2020, and I was like, hmm, no. And then I finally felt comfortable enough, and I was recovered enough to go. And then I scheduled it, and. Then Omicron came, and I was like, I should really go, though, because I have a family history of melanoma. Mm -hmm. My dad had melanoma. I've had precancerous moles. Uh, my sister's had precancerous moles. I have the other two types of skin cancer on my mom's side. So I go normally every year to get checked over. And he was like, you know, they all look really good. And there was like six I had questions about. I was like, what about this one? What about this one? He's like, that's fine. That's fine. And then um, there was one that he was like, well, this one, he's like, I don't know, but you have a family history. He's like, I don't think it's anything he said about, but, um, you know, out of an overabundance of caution, let's just remove it. So I had one wall taken today. And uh, I don't know if we ever discussed this, but as as a part of Mal's ongoing saga with, um, you know, the surgery and recovery, Mal finally, after all of these years discovered an adhesive that doesn't cause her problems. Yes. And I discovered this because um, I was talking to Haley and Haley was like, silicon is really good for scars because it helps reduce the look of them. And she's like, this is the scar tape I use. And it was meant to be like to hold IVs in place and whatever, but apparently it helps for scars. And mine are so little from surgery that I haven't really been using it. But I've noticed that when I had it on, I had no reaction to it. So, you know, for the moles from now on, I can just put a piece of gauze over and a piece of the silicon tape to hold it there in place instead of using a Band-Aid, which could be latex. And if it's not, I'm still allergic to the glue on it, so. What is the name of this Silicon tape? tape? It's just called silicon tape? It's just silicon tape. It's okay. like generic medical silicon tape. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's, it's worth mentioning if you're not familiar with Mal's um, allergy history. Mal's allergic to a lot, like an insane amount of stuff. Most people know that she's allergic to peanuts and latex, but she's also allergic 
to a ton of different bugs. They cause all sorts of giant welts that are around for weeks um, and has historically been allergic to basically every single adhesive on the market, which makes you know, recovering from a wound very difficult when the, ad the adhesive causes a new wound. Um, so it's actually kind of exciting that she has a solution now. Mm -hmm. So I guess you'll be swapping out the doctor's Band-Aid and putting on your own yeah, at some to. point. Cool. Well, we're going to make this again tomorrow, and we'll adjust it a little bit and see what happens. But I'll still go ahead and put the, the recipe in the description because I like these sorts of meals. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of... A little bit of, uh, I kept thinking ketchup salt. and mustard, and I was like, that is not going to improve this. Salt and pepper. Maybe a little soy? Uh, yeah, maybe a little soy. I mean, soy. there's soy in the seasoning dressing, but yeah, uh, maybe more. We'll see. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?